1984. If you are young, most of you do not realize how much technology has changed. When I started working for a company in 1984, it was before the internet and desktop computers. No Windows operating system, just a big mammoth mainframe computer sitting in a climate-controlled room. Now most children are carrying around enough computing power that in 1984 they could have walked into any technology company with that I thing and said, Hi, I am from a galaxy of her peace from Earth. And all the engineers would have said, Welcome to Earth. I cannot use those eye things because my fingers are too shaky. When I try, I have a thousand things jumping around on the screen. I need a desktop or laptop to do anything, and even with the laptop, I cannot use the touchpad, and I usually have a wireless keyboard and mouse on the standby. In 1984, I was reading predictions of things to come, and most of those are here. Makes you wonder what the next big thing will be. When Microsoft bumped Netscape from its dominance as a web browser, I thought they would have a monopoly forever. Then came Google, and they are turning the Internet upside down. Look what Facebook did to MySpace. That's what I mean when I say, wonder what's next. If I knew, I would be worth billions. Chad and Steve developed YouTube and sold it to Google for over a billion dollars. And when you look at the success of that today, Google got it for a steal. All this is why we need the NSA. I have friends that will disagree with me. But if you look at this thing logically, someone needs to be carrying a big stick. When I said 1984, you thought I was going to talk about George Orwell. Need I say more?